I spoke with both Democrats and Republicans, and of course, they're both in favor of their own candidate, but agree that Harris is probably the closest replacement there is to Biden in a possible presidential run. Now that President Biden is out, Vice President Kamala Harris may be in for the Democratic presidential nomination. She's top of my list because she's ready to go day one. Congresswoman Lois Frankel is one of the Democratic delegates that plans to vote for Harris. She brings a new vigor strength. She's a prosecutor. She's been a senator. She said Harris is the natural replacement for President Biden, having worked alongside him as vice president, sharing the same belief on policies. When it comes to who may be up against Trump, how do we feel about Kamala? I don't think we feel Kamala's a threat at all. Palm Beach County Commissioner and Republican Please. delegate Mike Palm Barnett Palm agrees a strength is that Harris is vice president, but will have to answer for inflation and foreign policies. Uh, I don't think um, Kamala Harris brings much more to their ticket other than the fact that she's a woman or a minority. A minority that the North Palm Beach County branch of the NAACP is supporting. Yeah, although we're a nonpartisan organization, we're, we're extremely excited about those persons that are willing to fight for the issues that we feel important as an organization. He just attended a national NAACP conference where Biden spoke on reproductive issues, voting rights, and equity, diversity, and inclusion. And if she was not in line with the issues that we stood for, uh, regardless of her race and regardless of her gender, we would not be for her. I'm told Vice President Kamala Harris will still need to be voted in by delegates sometime before the Democratic National Convention, which is expected next month. Reporting in studio, Joel Lopez, WPTV News.